So good afternoon, everyone sitting online, long time. So the mother of all topics, data sufficiency. Look, see what happened. Frankly, telling you this is one topic which even I also sometimes feel bothered, right? So exactly the reason is see the evolution said that reasoning to ho jayegi. So they started putting reasoning and aptitude, jo tumhara, malab, the easier topics, be it you know arithmetic, be it uh, you know equations, they have started putting it in terms of data sufficiency. So what is data sufficiency? He says he puts a question. Okay? He puts a question. So he has a question in his mind and then he says statement 1, statement 2 and he gives you statement 1 and statement 2. Now this question has to be solved. And then he gives you options. What options are there? He says, you know, the uh, you know the answer is one if the question can be answered using one of the statements alone, but cannot be answered using other statement alone. Answer is two when the question can be answered by statement one also and statement two also. Answer is three when the question can be answered only when we mix the two statements. And answer is four when the question cannot be answered even by mixing these two statements. But the problem is data sufficiency has rules, right? And nobody teaches you rules. And that's the reason, you know, 9 to 10 questions. I have brought all the questions today. We are going to do all PYQs. Jitne aa chuke na, hum sare We'll do everything, right? Aur jo topic mein nahi karayi hai, uske aaye nahi hai. Meaningly, probability pe abhi DS nahi aaya hai. Linear equation pe DS nahi aaya hai. Geometry pe DS nahi aaya hai. Thik hai? So, I wanted that you should get this also done. Now, see, this is what exactly it is. Let's see. Kya hai? Dhyan se suno zara. Please pay attention. These are the directions in most of the questions. He says, choose one if the question can be answered by using one of the statement alone, but cannot be answered using other statement alone. Your answer would be one, right? Choose two if the question can be answered by using either of the statement, either of the statements alone. Choose three if the question can be answered by using both the statements together but cannot be answered using either of the statements alone. Choose four if the question cannot be answered even by using both the statements together. All right. So these are the options that are available. So the answer is there is one question. There is one question. Right. And this question has statement 1, statement 2. Your answer would be 1. Your answer is 1. If the question can be answered by one of the statement but cannot be answered by other statement or cannot be answered by first and can be answered by second, then your option is 1. Your answer is 1. Pahli statement se answer are, but the second statement is not giving you answer or your second, first statement is not giving you answer, but the second statement is giving answer to that question. Alright, then your answer is 2 when first statement is also giving you answer and second statement is also giving answer to the question. Then you have answer as 2 and UPSC is giving ditto same options, don't worry, right. Then he says your answer is 3. When first statement, now this is important, right? Answer is 3. When first statement is giving you answer, sorry, first statement is not giving you answer and second is not giving you answer. So you mix them and you get answer to the question. Right? And then fourth, first is not giving you answer individually, second is not giving you answer individually. When you mix them, then also you are not getting any answer. What is relevant? Looking at this scenario, I am sure that if one of the statement is giving answer to the question, then your answer is not 3 and 4. Right? Then your answer has to be 1 or 2. If one of the statement is giving you answer, your answer has to be 1 and 2. And when would you mix two statements? You would only mix two statements when first is not giving you answer, second is not giving you answer, then only you join them. Before that, you should not join these two statements. But they are so beautifully formed. 
that the questions itself would force you to join these statements, combine these statements. And that is where the holistic knowledge of aptitude and reasoning would come into play. You know what is aptitude, what is reasoning, what is geometry, what is permutations. Do you know it? Then only you would be able to sort it out. What is set theory? Last year set theory. Right. So, pehla funda. We call it 50-50. Meaningly, if there is one yes, your options are only one and two. And if there are two no's, your options are only three and four. Ye clear hai? All good. <coughs> Chalo great. Ek baat note kar lo usko. Rahul Baba. All good. How was the Diwali? Made money, sir. Ha? Sona vi chai. <laughs> Clear? Thoda late hai tum, abhi ruk jaan. How was your Diwali up enough? Good? There were there firecrackers in Delhi? People burst firecrackers in Delhi? Oh. You were one of them? Arushi, you are seeing the face of this firecracker. My daughter says Diwali means firecrackers. Right? Then after two days, she goes to school and says, No firecracker, green Diwali. Right? Let's go, guys. Now, we have gone through this. Right? And now we will talk about something really important. Rules of data sufficiency. Important. The problem is people don't pay attention to this. If you have rules in your mind, data sufficiency is going to be easy. I never say it is going to be very easy, but it is going to be easy. I still believe data sufficiency is very tough. Or tum questions karo ke tumhe khud samaj mein aaja hai, right? Rule one. Rule one, like if a question, if a question asks, if a question asks for a numerical value, if a question asks for a numerical value, it is, it is answerable, it is answerable by individual statements it is answerable by individual statements or combination of statements or combination of statements only when only when we get only when we get a unique answer only when we get a unique answer and not a range of answers. Right bracket me likh lije. Bracket me likh lije. Ambiguous answers not required. Ambiguous answers not required. Just like I ask a question. I mean, it's simple, sir. Rahul, are you unhappy? Sorry, are you married? Yes. Piyush, are you married? No. Now, see, that's a unique answer. He says yes, unique. No, unique. Now you cannot say yes and no. Actually, every question has to have a unique answer. 
it's not the numerical value i'm writing it's mostly really important that if you have a question it has to have a unique answer that is what i want to say that's the reason i said no ambiguous answer why because in reasoning there would be a lot of ambiguous range answers so i'm not over here talking only about numerical value more than numerical value is if you have a question it has to have an exact answer simple funda hai theek hai ki nahi koi range of answers nahi hona chahiye if i say what is the 39th rank in the series so there is only one specific answer there cannot be three answers yaar got my point now i'll give you example and now i'm giving you example on data sufficiency only theek hai so rule 1 i say x is an integer x is an integer right what is the value of x option 1 x is less than 2 option 2 x is greater than 0 tell me options wohi hai options wohi hai answer is 1 when the statement can be answered using one statement it cannot be answered using other statement option is 2 when the statement uh, question can be answered by using first statement also second statement also answer is 3 when the question can only be answered when you combine these two statements answer is 4 when question cannot be answered even by combining the statements together 3 try this is nothing tough now how do you do this suppose now please let me give you one intervention ha huh? four theek let me give you one intervention now dhyan se sunna आज के बाद वेन एवर यू सी डाटा सफिशियंसी यू वुड डू डाटा सफिशियंसी माई वे नॉट एनी अदर वे राइट ना लुक एट दिस क्वेश्चन क्या है वट एक्स इज एन इंटीजर वट इज अल्यू ऑफ एक्स स्टेटमेंट वन एक्स इज लेस देन टू सो इंटीजर्स लेस देन टू क्या हो जाएंगे गाइज एक्स कैन बी वन जीरो माइनस वन माइनस टू एंड सो वन इनफाइनाइट इंटीजर्स लेस देन टू सो इट इज नॉट गिविंग यू यूनिक आंसर फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट इज नॉट गिविंग यू आंसर first statement is not giving you answer clear either is equal don't worry then statement 2 so no rahul you are married then you have a girlfriend also suppose then you suppose so rahul is married having a girlfriend ha acha ek hi se dukhi ho theek hai samajhdar ho suppose rahul is married and he has a girlfriend so if he is with his girlfriend and if his wife calls he won't pick the call so when he is with his girlfriend he should not think about wife when he is with wife he should not think about girlfriend that is how he can sustain similarly data sufficiency sustains when you are looking at statement 2 you forget statement 1 it does not exist got it that's the rule that you should always follow whenever you are having a look at statement 2 forget statement 1 write it somewhere does not exist statement 1 ab exist hi nahi kare jab tum statement 2 dekh rahe ho got it rule of data sufficiency and rule of multiple relationships hmm शुभम मंद मंद मुस्कुरा रहा है हाँ कि ज्ञान तो ऋषि सर ने आज मुझे दिया है अर्श कैसा है सो लिसन टू बी देन अगेन क्वेश्चन पढ़ो देखो एक्स इज एन इंटीजर व्हाट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स एक्स इज ग्रेटर देन जीरो व्हिच मींस नाउ एक्स कैन बी इक्वल टू वन टू थ्री फोर इंफिनिटी सर अगेन sir this is not an exact answer it is range of answer statement 2 does not give you answer which means now your answer cannot be 1 cannot be 2 one or two kab aaye the when we said that ek question ek statement bhi answer de deti then it could have been one or two right now you have a situation where first statement is not giving you answer second is not giving you answer what would you do mix them so when do you mix them when there is no from the first statement no from the second statement then you mix them so what do i get when i say 1 plus 
it says x lies between 0 and 2. x is less than 2, x is greater than 0. x lies between 0 and 2. And what is the question? x is an integer, what is the value of x? x lying between 0 and 2. Definitely x is equal to 1 is the answer, which means mix karke you are getting answer. Answer is 3. This is the beauty. The beauty is, you may have a range. Hai. But 0 to 2 mein integer to ek hi hai. Unique answer. I am telling you it's a killer. Even we give answers, right? When when paper comes, I have made one or two mistakes here. Generally, they are so well framed, so amazingly done, they just kill. Nothing else. So this is it, guys. That's the reason last year, last to last year, most of you struggled data sufficiency last year nine questions last to last year eight questions beautiful beautiful right now see agar isi ko change kar de x is a natural number na x is a natural number what is the value of x right x is less than 2 kya value ho jati x is less than 2 pe natural number to sirf 1 hi hai x is equal to 1 पहली से ही आंसर आ जाता, दूसरी से आंसर नहीं आता, so your answer was पहली statement आंसर दे रही है, second statement is not giving you answer, answer is one, मतलब one question I can change ten times, I can make more, I can make more questions out of it, clear है? So how do you proceed? The simple plain way of proceeding for data sufficiency is my way, look for statement one and question. When you look at statement 2, forget statement 1, look at question and statement 2. Once you have validated statement 1 and statement 2 individually, then only you go for mixing them. Otherwise, please do not mix them at all. This is data sufficiency. With a rule, just first rule we have done. But it is important. <clears throat> and that is the reason a lot of people are struggling because they want shortcuts. There is no shortcut over here. This topic does not have any shortcut, right? Rule 2. Dekho here, listen, if you logically think data sufficiency is easy, right? Because you do not have to solve the question. You just have to analyze whether this question can be solved and it is giving you unique value. You don't have to find the value. He is not asking you what is the value of x. No, he is asking you would the value be unique? Would you get a unique answer? Right. So, like data sufficiency questions rule 2. Data sufficiency questions. are framed to analyze whether individual statements, whether individual statements or group of statements give us a unique answer, give us a unique answer. We don't need to calculate, we don't need to calculate or solve a question to find the value. Right? So, they go here, Hamare pas question hai, Hame value ni chai. Ab there is a lot of confusion, right? Now listen, I said there are two statements. First statement should give you unique answer, then it is right. Second statement should give you unique answer, then it is right. Then the students would ask, sir, answer given by first statement and second statement, should they be equal? No. No. Because they are totally individual statements, so they can give you different answers. The issue is the uniqueness of the answer. 
it is should not give you multiple answers first statement should not give you multiple answers second statement should not give you multiple answers what is the answer is not the context the answer is unique is the context right for example until unless you do example you won't understand this right so let me see let us see I'll give you a question. <clears throat> so, question is ratio of prices of two different cars two different cars is 1 is to 1.5 ratio of prices of two different cars is 1 is to 1.5 what is the price of first car what is the price of first car if discount of 15% and 18% are given on both the cars respectively both the cars are me respectively likh lijiye theek hai now statement 1 difference difference of discounts on both cars is rupees 1 2 3 00 to discount on second car is rupees 1 1 5 8 9 अर्ज करो हाय अमन हाउ आर यू Yeah, Arna, we are good questions answered here. Beautiful, thank you. Yeah, huh? question was good. Thank you, man. Arna has changed his look huh? after Diwali has become brighter. <laughs> Two, okay, guys, come on. Arushi, jaldi, over lad. Four. and i want everyone to give me an answer give me a wrong answer it's okay you have to give me an answer otherwise i'm not moving forward harsh navneet come on arushi answer we call it a killer for a reason i'm telling you these are killers arnab p 
पीयूष फिर कितने टू फोर सी दिस इज वेयर मैथ्स एंड रीजनिंग एंड एंड इट स्टार्ट and this is the obvious respect i have for this exam the reason is data sufficiency yes they are framing beautiful questions but this was something i expected years back ki aana chahiye aur maine padhaya and then you know 4 5 years back they started experiment hmm beta what's your answer here give me answer wrong answer is okay give me answer wrong do theek hai tere to galat hi hai galat hai anyone i am an online students yuvraj ye great kawa kawana it's wrong so no this is the beauty that is the reason you know i find this paper to be really observing listen to me ratio of two different cars is 1 and 1.5 which means agar first का कार का प्राइस है एक्स सेकंड का क्या हो जाएगा गाइस 1.5 पॉइंट फाइव एक्स दैट इज द रीजन वी आर डूइंग इट एट द एंड रेशो आ गया ठीक है डिस्काउंट भी आ गया राइट विच मींस यू नो प्रॉफिट लॉस भी आ गया तो इज इज रिस्पेक्टिवली 15 परसेंट एटीन परसेंट विच मींस दिस हैज डिस्काउंट ऑफ 15 परसेंट एंड दिस हैज डिस्काउंट ऑफ एटीन परसेंट राइट दिस इज गिवन टू यू क्वेश्चन क्या पूछ रहा है He he says, what is the price of the first car? So he is asking you, what is the value of x? That's it. Question is what? What is the value of x? Co statement one: the difference of the discounts of both the cars is one, two, three, one, two, three, double zero. Discount on first car is eighteen percent of one point five x minus fifteen percent of x comes out to be one, two, three, double zero. would it give me a unique answer of x would we get a unique answer of x what is the answer is not a issue answer is coming i don't want what is x i want to ask is would the answer be unique it's a linear equation ha sir hoga unique hoga kya problem x ki standard value hogi kya value aayegi mujhe nahi chahiye i don't want it see the beauty you are trying to find the value of x you don't need it because i had written it you don't need to find the value of x made you write it right and that is where he averages out a lot of math students you say na iit na fir bhi nahi hua because this is what they try to do they find the value of x <laughs> right then second statement guys rahul goes to his girlfriend forgets his wife second statement pehli ko bhul jao over it out फिर से क्वेश्चन वही है व्हाट इज प्राइस ऑफ फर्स्ट कार सेकंड स्टेटमेंट इज डिस्काउंट ऑन द सेकंड कार इज दिस डिस्काउंट ऑन सेकंड कार वाज व्हाट 18 परसेंट ऑफ 1.5 पॉइंट फाइव एक्स इज इक्वल टू वन वन फाइव एट नाइन वुड दिस गिव अस यूनिक वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स यस सर अगेन आई एम नॉट इंटरेस्टेड वट इज अल्यू ऑफ एक्स दिस इज ऑल्सो गिविंग मी आंसर क्योंकि हमें फर्क ही नहीं पड़ता एक्स इधर से क्या आया इधर से क्या आया हार्डली मैटर्स answer has to be unique both the statements are giving you answer answer is 2 killer and this is easy what ups is giving is bombastic 2 because statement 1 is also giving you answer statement 2 is also giving you answer let me go back beta let me go back this is see this choose to if the question can be answered choose to if the question can be answered by using either of the statements alone dono statement alone answer de rahi hain both the statements are giving you answer alone clear so have this map in your mind always that's the beauty it is tougher than syllogisms this is tougher than number system why because you have to accommodate so many things rules bhi kara diye hum logon ne because the worst part is nobody teaches that as efficiency in our field 
एंड एवरी वन नू टीचर्स डाटा सफिशियंसी जैसे ऐसे 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 करना चार एग्जाम्पल कराए खत्म नहीं रॉन्ग द रूल्स हैव टू बी देर राइट सो आई होप नाउ इट्स क्लियर बिकॉज जो वो फिफ्टी परसेंट रहता है ना डीएस का वो आज खत्म हो जाए तुम लोग करते हो फिफ्टी परसेंट एफर्ट डीएस में आज से तुम करोगे हंड्रेड परसेंट ऑल ऑफ यू वुड बी हंड्रेड परसेंट राइट सो शेल आई रेज दिस है ना सो अगला क्वेश्चन करें क्या राहुल मैं भेज रहा हूं असाइनमेंट लेट मी सेंड यू असाइनमेंट ऑन टेलीग्राम ग्रुप वेट जिसमें ऑप्शन है ना गाइज आई एम सेंडिंग यू वेट This assignment is also there. I have sent you a PDF. It has all the options. Rahul, beta, dekh le ek baar. All right. Pehle dekho ke open karoge. So sabse upper options hi likhi hui hain. Got it? Chali. Next. Rule three. Rule three. Do not assume this is important. Otherwise, also, guys, frankly, you know these are all life rules. On answers have to be unique, right? Everyone can give different answer, right? And different answers can also be right. Third, do not assume in DS as well as in life. your assumption doesn't matter so what do you mean by do not assume ds questions should not have that kind of assumption if he says x y z are natural numbers right so if you assume you counter assume meaningly for past 2 3 years they have been giving you questions like x y and z are prime numbers so statement 1 x plus y upon z is also prime statement 2 blah 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 so then you have to assume then you have to assume too many remember that just don't go by one stuck up assumption but when we say do not assume anything in ds question so likh lijiye do not assume do not assume values do not assume values irrational logics irrational logics अब मैं कैसे समझाऊं मुझे क्वेश्चन से ही करवाना पड़ेगा राइट कॉमा मैयर ऑफ एन एंगल मैयर ऑफ एन एंगल डू नॉट अज्यूम मैयर ऑफ एन एंगल मैयर 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 एम ई ए एस यू आर ई मैयर ऑफ एन एंगल वैल्यू ऑफ एंगल ई आर लेंथ ऑफ अ साइड मैयर ऑफ एन एंगल लेंथ ऑफ अ साइड एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा राइट ब्रैकेट में लिख लो फिगर्स आर नॉट ड्रॉन टू स्केल फिगर्स आर नॉट ड्रॉन टू स्केल राइट सो वट आई मीन टू से समथिंग यू वुड अंडरस्टैंड विद एन एग्जाम्पल ऑनली राइट बिफोर एग्जाम्पल यू मे नॉट इवन गेट इट सो आई से Hmm. Question. In an election, how many votes are cast? You can note down this question if you want to. In an election, how many votes are cast? The winning candidate gets fifty-four percent of the total votes. The winning candidate wins by eight hundred votes. Three, one also, two also required, which means you are saying answer is three, three. Read each and every thing given in this question.
थ्री तुमने थ्री कैसे बोला यू सेड विनिंग विनिंग पर्सन गॉट फिफ्टी फोर परसेंट ऑफ वोट तो लूजिंग गॉट हाउ मेनी वाई इज इट मैं दैट देर आर टू कैंडिडेट इन एन इलेक्शन विनर गॉट फिफ्टी फोर परसेंट ऑफ द वोट वट अबाउट लूजर हाउ डू यू से दैट लूजर गॉट फोर्टी सिक्स परसेंट ऑफ द वोट इट इज नॉट इवन मैं ओनली टू पीपल कंटेस्टेड इन दैट एग्जाम इन दिस यू नो वोटिंग in this election see the assumption see the question everyone is going to give three because you have done percentages where in percentages question was in an election between two candidates over here in an election how many votes are cast so statement one again i am asking you to go by my logic my way of solving is what i am not looking at a question and saying yes this is the answer wrong statement one he says in an election how many votes are cast the winner got 54% of the votes Winner got fifty four percent of the votes. It won't give me answer how many votes are cast. So I say wrong. First statement is not giving me answer. Second, the winner, winning candidate, wins by eight hundred votes. So when I see second, I forget first. Now I don't know how much winning candidate got. वो तो first में information था. I won't use that information in the second. So he says winner minus first runner up. Is equal to eight hundred votes. This does not give you how many votes are cast because winner का नहीं पता था, first runner up का नहीं पता था. So I think gone. You have to do this labor work. Do this labor work. I am telling you, you will refine yourself. Right? Then mixing. I say what is one plus two. So one plus two says the winning candidate got fifty four percent of the vote. So fifty four percent minus first runner up. Again, I don't know how many are there. Is equal to eight hundred. Then I don't know first runner up has got how many percentage of votes. Until unless you assume that there are only two candidates, right? Until unless you assume. So since you know we don't know how many people are contesting in this exam in in this election, we cannot answer this question. so answer is actually 4 because this also is not giving you answer see the beauty assumption your assumption was so that's the reason i said irrational logics do not assume irrational logics this was your irrational logic right because whenever we talk about voting in elections now please mind my words whenever we talking about voting in election we say you know candidate a won by these many votes so we want to say is that candidate a minus the first runner up is these many votes now how many candidates were there in that election is something that is not mentioned there are not only two candidates na right even if i say you know he got 54 winner got 54% of the votes you cannot say that the loser got 46% of the votes until unless he, they mention that there are only two candidates in the election see the depth of the questions and i haven't even touched pyqs pyqs is better than these these are my questions <coughs> sorry <coughs> right so i hope now it is clear so that is the meaning of do not assume anything do not assume anything do not assume anything right that actually specifies it right but then you know there are people those who get scared ab wo bolta assumption right so i say do not assume anything so you guys start panicking assumption right do not assume anything but that doesn't mean that if i said a b c d is a square then you say sir all sides are equal yes they are all angles are 90 degrees an assumption no then it is not an assumption come on that's a fact right that's a fact so remember that you know mathematical uh, formulas mathematical logics are accepted right rectangle hai to all angles are 90 degree right that is accepted In a rectangle, diagonals are equal. Yes, that is accepted. You know, integer plus integer is an integer accepted. So these are not assumptions; these are rules, right? 
सो जो रूल्स हैं दे आर अलाउड प्लीज ओके रूल्स आर अलाउड बट यू नो यू डोंट हैव टू मेक एनी एजम्पन बाई योर सेल्फ आई होप आई एम गिवन यू गुड एग्जाम्पल एक्चुअली यू नो यू एज्यूम्ड नंबर ऑफ कैंडिडेट टू बी टू बाई योर सेल्फ देर वुड बी एम्पल ऑफ मोर एग्जाम्पल्स कमिंग इसी तरह की एग्जाम्पल्स अभी और आएंगे ठीक है क्लियर गाइज इज इट क्लियर द डेडलीएस्ट रूल विच किल्स एवरी वन रूल फोर I want to ask a question, and you have to give me answer. Simple as it is, right? Simple, Shubham. Do you have a girlfriend? That's the right answer. He said no. No is also an answer. This is what a human does not accept in data sufficiency. No is an answer, and they kill you with that because they know that you won't accept no as an answer. राइट सो लिखेगा इवन नो एन ओ इज कंसिडर्ड एज अ राइट आंसर इवन नो इज कंसिडर्ड एज अ राइट आंसर सिंपल राइट हर्ष यू ड्रिंक पानी नहीं पीता वट यू मीन बाई ड्रिंकिंग कॉफी नहीं पीता सब पीता है बेटा तुमने हर्ष बाबा आई डिड नॉट अज्यूम यू अज्यूम सी अज्यूम ड्रिंकिंग डजेंट मीन ड्रिंकिंग अल्कोहल कम ऑन है ना हाँ बोलते तो सर पानी पीता हूं स्मार्ट आंसर यू आर डूइंग डाटा सफिशियंसी है ना सो रिमेम्बर नो हैज टू बी कंसिडर्ड एन आंसर in our society as well. frankly you know the day our parents start accepting that you know the children can say no then the children would also accept that you know their children their friends and family can also say no no is a very big answer if you go to foreign countries they are genuinely taught to say no we are genuinely not taught to say no you know when we talk about weaknesses so most of us have a one weakness sir i cannot say no to people and many of us have ended up in troubles also because of that i i know many of you would have would agree and you won't agree i have landed up in many troubles because i could not say no to a lot of people right so what do you mean by this in context of data sufficiency i'm giving you a question question ka answer batao theek hai then you would get it right i say x is an integer is x equal to 5 x is an integer is x equal to 5 statement number 1 x square minus 36 is equal to 0 statement number 2 x square minus 49 is equal to 0 what's your answer आंसर क्या है वन टू थ्री फोर में से ये बता दू आंसर क्या है वन टू थ्री फोर सिंपल हर्ष आंसर अरुषि पीयूष One, which statement is giving you answer? Huh? One means one of the statement is giving an answer. Second is not giving an answer. Which statement answer they give? Tell me. First one is giving you answer, but second is not giving you answer. Listen. Now, have fun. Answer is two. Listen. Have you asked a question? Is x equal to five in Hindi? Is x equal to five in Hindi? राइट right? पहली स्टेटमेंट बोलती है x इज इक्वल टू सिक्स और माइनस सिक्स सो यू से नो x इज नॉट इक्वल टू फाइव नो x इज नॉट इक्वल टू फाइव विच मीन स्टेटमेंट वन इज गिविंग यू आंसर नो x इज नॉट इक्वल टू फाइव खत्म आंसर इज देयर माई क्वेश्चन वॉज x 
x equal to 5. Statement 1 says no, x is not equal to 5. Kadam. Simple, right? The question has been answered by no, right? Similarly, second is giving you x is equal to 7 or minus 7. No, x is not equal to 5. Second is also giving you answer. जब भी तुम इसको सॉल्व करते हो x square is equal to 36 x is equal to under root of 36 which is equal to plus minus 6 आप समझ में आया पीछे did you get it now and see the silly thing इसी में इस क्वेश्चन इस सेम स्टेटमेंट्स आर सेम एवरीथिंग इस सेम राइट इट देन आई चेंज द क्वेश्चन आई से is x equal to 6 then, अरे मेरे को तो आंसर बोल दो कोड वन टू थ्री फोर खत्म सेकेंड फिर से सेकेंड है वन आंसर है अब इसका क्यों पहला क्या एक्स छ के बराबर है इट इज गिविंग यस एक्स इज इक्वल टू सिक्स नो एक्स इज नॉट इक्वल टू सिक्स विच मीन आंसर इज नॉट यूनिक इट इज यस और नो डी हैव ए गर्लफ्रेंड यस सर नो सर not possible right so first is not giving you answer no <laughs> because it is giving you two answers either yes or no answer has to be only yes or only no so now if i say x is equal to 6 then you say first is not giving you answer and second again gives you answer because x is equal to 7 or minus 7 now you say no x is not equal to 6 so now in this case answer is 1 that is the beauty of data sufficiency that is the reason we call it a killer sirf char rules hain life ke bhi yahi rules hain brilliant yes ek answer hona chahiye brilliant that is what they expect from you also when you become officers either it has to be yes or no you cannot give ambiguous answers a lot of things we do in decision making, I'm going to do decision making, right? You have to make a decision. So it has to be a solid decision. It has nothing to do with, you know, what people would think, right? What our society would think. It has to be a solid answer that this is what it has to be. That is the reason such, such a tough exams are happening because they are actually you know taking a best in india into their own uh, you know company psc or you say government of india is also a company na yaar chahe wo ek ek government run company but it's a company they want best individuals so remember yes and no is always a ambiguous answer and i wish that you could have learnt it at a very early age saying no to people hai na when you grow up, then you realize and then you see how important it is saying no also. And it really matters. Okay. So, these are the four definite rules of data sufficiency. Framing questions ki abhi tumhe dikha rao. We'll do a lot of questions and you'd realize that a frame are such beautifully framed questions. Itne beautifully framed. Mein abhi PY kyun nahi kar rao? Pehle mere kar lo. Right. So I hope now it is a comfort zone. Now I'm just revising it. Read, listen. Option is one when the question can be solved by one of the statement but cannot be solved by the other statement. So it can be pale se answer are dusri se ni ara or pale se answer ni ara dusri se ara. Right. Answer is two if the question can be answered by statement one also, statement two also. Answer is three. When statement 1 was individually not giving you answer, statement 2 was not individually giving you answer, then we mixed it. Which means now, there is a D point, mixing has to happen only when both the statements are giving you, are not giving you answers, right? Answer is 4, when first was not able to give answer, second was not able to give answer, when I mixed first and second, and then also I did not get a unique answer. And everything revolves around a unique answer, a standard unique answer, single answer. And unique answer also comes like either it is yes or it is no. It should not be ambiguous. So I have written those words. So rule one, unique answer. Rule two, no calculations required. 
Rule three: Do not assume. Rule four: Take no as an answer. If you are able to do it, data sufficiency would be eighty to ninety percent correct. Still telling you eighty to ninety only. And please remember few more things. Always solve data sufficiency the way I solve it. Statement one: Question. Statement two: Forget statement one. Question. You only mix them when there are two you knows. Otherwise, you don't mix them. Clear? The rule is perfect. Whenever you have second statement, you forget first statement. All good. That's it. And what is the basic of data sufficiency questions? Pura mathematics, pura reason. That is the beauty because now I have got independence to frame any question from anywhere. Right? This is what I am going to do. So let's see. Let's do some questions now. Sorry, it's not. Let's do some questions. It's let's solve some questions. Question one. Average, come on! Everyone has to attempt it. Everyone has to give me answer. Even people sitting online, come on, guys! You need to give me answers. One, four. Hmm. Rahul, Rahul, four. Yes, Piyush, Piyush. Anyone having different answer? I don't mind. One, four. Let's see. He says, is the average cost of sixty items greater than twenty-five? Which means the question is exactly is the Total cost of sixty items greater than sixty into twenty-five, which comes out to be pandra so. And I guess pandra so is the total cost of sixty items greater than fifteen hundred rupees. That's the question, right? First statement: two fifth of them cost thirty each. So two fifth of Sixty comes out to be how much? Twenty-four cost thirty each, which is rupees seven twenty. So there is rupees seven twenty for two fifth of them, right? But then you don't know what about remaining sixty minus twenty-four, thirty-six items. So you first cannot give you answer. This is the way I would do it always. Then second, two one third of them cost forty each. So one third of sixty. Comes out to be how much? Twenty into forty comes out to be how much? Rupees eight hundred. In that case, I do not know about the cost of remaining forty items, right? So total cost I cannot predict. Maybe greater than, maybe less than. I cannot say. Cross one plus two. Twenty-four items plus twenty items, forty-four items. Cost how much? Rupees fifteen twenty. Forty four items. By statement one and statement two together, twenty four plus twenty is forty four items. Cost rupees fifteen twenty, which means sixteen items would definitely be greater than fifteen hundred rupees. So definitely answer is coming. Answer is three. Killer. Cost of fifty forty four items is rupees fifteen twenty, which means cost of sixty items would definitely be greater than pandra. So, if forty four items' ka cost jo hai, it is coming out to be fifteen twenty. So, cost of sixty items has to be greater than fifteen hundred rupees. So, the answer is coming. Oof, answer is three. I am telling you, you don't know what you are dealing with. The whole whole UPSC aspirant doesn't understand what they are dealing. This is the beauty. And telling you, you know, I mock on the student those who says it can be done in a month and a half. I mock on those people. I feel those cannot be the officers looking at the level of the paper, and this is not even UPSC question. 
I challenge anyone to come and solve these questions without preparing. Till the time you don't know average, पहली चीज तुम कर ही नहीं सकते राइट तुम कर ही नहीं सकते एंड थ्री इयर्स कॉन्टिन्यूसली दे हैव गिवन डाटा सफिशियंसी क्वेश्चन ऑन एवरेजेस दैट इज द ब्यूटी चले आगे बढ़े सो so, जो तुम कर रहे हो उससे एक स्टेप बेटर सोचना है प्लीज रिमेंबर दिस ऋषि सर इज टेलिंग यू वट एवर यू आर अटेम्प्टिंग गो वन स्टेप फर्दर एंड रीड इट अगेन राइट क्लियर वन मोर As an individual, I'm telling you, even I make mistakes here, so you can understand. It is tough. Come on, don't hurry up. Do it my way. I don't know the answers. Take it. Give your true answers. Don't worry. Yar, galati karoge na, tabhi sikhoge. Rather than giving no answer. It's good to give some answer and say yes, we were wrong. Come on. Now you see what you are dealing with. <laughs> nine questions last year. See nine, all nine gone. If you have not done the rules, all nine were gone actually, and that is the reason most of the students have struggled because they never knew this. So, what percentage of population of a village comprises of unhappy ma sorry married males, guys? Hmm? Married males. So he says four sevenths of the population comprises of females. So if the total population If the total population was x, so females would be four by seven of x, which means males would be three by seven of x, isn't it? But how many of these males are married? First statement does not give us any answer, right? And then he says there are three hundred unmarried males. So if you see second, you forget first, right? So total population is x. Total is x. So how many are males? How many are females? We don't know. So how can we say three hundred are unmarried? So how would you be able to find the percentage of a population that comprises of married males? Not true. First, not giving you answer. Second, not giving you answer. Were you able to do it till here? If you are not able to do it till here, you are not following my instruction the way I do question. you still you know head hunting where to put my head and if you are head hunting you would be forced to mix the questions are framed like that that first thing that you if you are looking at a ds question and the first option that you are thinking is mixing you are wrong remember that part you are wrong till the time you do this hard work and say nahi sir now i can say i want to mix then again let's see if you mix 1 and 2 then you know females are 4 by 7 times x males are 3 by 7 times x and then out of these males 300 are unmarried males so un males are these uh, unmarried males are 300 so married males would be how many 3 by 7 times x minus 300 so what would be the percentage of uh, what was the question married males percentage of married males is 3 by 7 times x upon 300 upon total x into 100 since x is not known you cannot give an answer for this question answer is 4 we won't get any unique answer kada mixing kiya pehle dekh question kya hai What percentage of population of village comprises of married males? He is asking you the percentage of married males. So you need married males upon total population into hundred, right? First statement is giving you four seventh of the population comprises of females. So females are four by seven of x. So males would be three by seven of x. So this percentage of married males is not getting. 
फर्स्ट इज नॉट गिविंग यू आंसर सेकेंड स्टेटमेंट से देर आर थ्री हंड्रेड अनमेरिड मेल्स ना इफ देर आर थ्री हंड्रेड अनमेरिड मेल्स सो हाउ मेनी आर मैरिड इज नॉट गिवन टू अस वट इज द टोटल पॉपुलेशन नॉट गिवन टू अस स्टेटमेंट टू अलोन इज नॉट सफिशियंट इफ आई मिक्स दम टूगेदर आई गेट फीमेल्स एज फोर बाय सेवन टाइम्स एक्स मेल्स एज थ्री बाय सेवन टाइम्स एक्स इसमें से अनमेरिड मेल्स आर थ्री हंड्रेड सो मैरिड मेल्स वुड बी थ्री बाय सेवन टाइम्स एक्स माइनस थ्री हंड्रेड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू फाइंड टोटल परसेंटेज परसेंटेज वुड बी दिस विच कैन नॉट गिव आंसर बिकॉज एक्स इज नॉट नोन so you can write total population is not known so how many type of males are there married males unmarried males widows that also is not specific so question does not even make any sense isn't it you can say that as well clear ha huh? i don't want to get into gs I don't want to get into a mess. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you are absolutely right. Hmm. Question. You PSC may be asked. Okay, this is my question. This is the beauty. Yes, Babu. Harsh, if you don't give answer, na, it is useless to sit. Why are you not giving answer? How it is to give me answer? Say, yeah, na, second wala. Then answer is not two. Then answer is one. That is wrong. Two doesn't mean that second wala is the right answer. Then three means what? थर्ड तो है ही नहीं यू हैव नॉट अंडरस्टूड द कॉन्सेप्ट की वट इज आस्किंग यार कुछ सुन हर्ष ही सेज आंसर इज वन यू वुड मार्क आंसर इज वन इफ वन ऑफ द स्टेटमेंट इज गिविंग यू आंसर द सेकेंड स्टेटमेंट इज नॉट गिविंग यू आंसर सपोज पहली स्टेटमेंट इज गिविंग यू आंसर देन सेकेंड इज नॉट गिविंग यू आंसर देन योर आंसर इज वन बट आंसर इज वन तब भी जब पहली इज नॉट गिविंग यू आंसर दूसरी इज गिविंग यू आंसर आंसर टू पता कब है जब स्टेटमेंट वन इज आल्सो गिविंग यू आंसर स्टेटमेंट टू इज आल्सो गिविंग यू यूनिक आंसर ए डोंट हेल्प हिम यस आरुषि वेर आर यू फोर ओके अ वायर इज सिक्सटीन अ वायर सिक्सटीन मीटर लॉन्ग इज कट इनटू थ्री पीसेस हाउ लॉन्ग इज द लॉन्गेस्ट पीस राइट so he says the two pieces each the two pieces uh, pieces are two pieces are each one uh, one meter shorter than the longest piece so if the longest piece is l baki two pieces hoge l minus 1 l minus 1 which means l plus l minus 1 plus l minus 1 is equal to how much 16 which give you 3l is equal to 18 which means l is equal to 6 so yes Longest part would be six. So first is giving you answer. So as soon as Harsh, I got first as an answer one statement. Answer cannot be three. Answer cannot be four. Because answer three or four ka baat hai. Jab first statement is not giving you answer, second is not giving you answer. Then the one piece is eight meter long. So now sixteen meter ki wire hai na unit. One piece is eight meter long. Remaining two pieces would be shorter than eight meter then. the longest if you have 16 meter long wire and you are cutting it into three pieces one piece is 8 meter long remaining two pieces have to be less than that because half the length is taken by one of the piece that is the lengthiest piece so he says one piece is 8 meter long so what is the how long is the longest piece 8 meter dusri is also giving you answer longest piece kya hoga 8 meter hoga fir this is upsc first is also giving you answer second is also giving you answer answer is 2 ladies and gentlemen you need to buck up now you need to understand what they are up to most of you are struggling with every question
now is it clear all of you see how beautifully framed these questions are how amazingly and the only thing i am expecting from you is statement 1 statement 2 how many of you are doing this hard work if you have been doing this hard work you would start getting answers i am telling you you would start getting answers the problem is you are just looking at it as two statements and creating a mess in your head believe me individual statements ko dekho please chalo ek aur karte let's see do it take your time Who's it three? Are you getting a unique answer? Who's it four? Uh, answer has to be unique only no there is no point the rule is simple the answer is unique four Subham Babu, four. Anyone else, guys? The boy at the back. I'm forgetting your name. Devyansh, what is your answer? Doro, sahi nahi aa rahe. To combination karke dekho. Nahi aa raha. Now listen to me. Dice A, B, C are thrown. Dice has a limitation of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I hope you know that. Everyone knows that. Right? He says, uh, the sum of all the dice readings is, first is dice A shows 4 more than dice C. So, dice A is showing 4 more than dice C. But in that case, the problem is, what is dice B? We don't know. So, we cannot say the sum of the readings. So, dice A is 4 plus C. Isn't it 4 more than C? He says, dice A shows, shows 4 more than dice C. Nahi ho sakta. Pahle se to uttar nahi aa sakta. Isn't it? Because dice B not known. There is a case when C is equal to 1. Then A is equal to 5. C is equal to 2. A is equal to 6. So, C can take only value 1 and 2. True. Isn't it? Because dice A is 4 more than C. A cannot take value more than 6. But we don't know B, we cannot answer this question, right? Second, if we multiply the reading of dice B with that of dice C, if we multiply B with that of C, we get reading of A. Hmm? Yeah, this is brilliant. Yes, you're right. It is if you talk about A, B, C, so it can be 1, 1, 1. Isn't it? A is equal to B into C. And if I say 1 comma 2, so this would be 2. If I say 1 comma 3, this would be 3. Isn't it? This is the boss are answers. Very right, Abhinav. Not a unique answer. Not possible. Gone, gone. 1 cannot be answered, 2 cannot be answers. Mixing. Statement 1 plus statement 2. He says A is equal to 4 plus c and then he says b into c is equal to a hmm? and then there is a limitation guys i said c can be 1 in that case a is equal to what 5 and c when c is equal to 2 a is equal to 6 hmm? and what is b 
B is A upon C. So B over here would be A upon C, which is 5. And B over here would be A upon C, which is 3. What is the question? Sum of all dice readings. What is sum of all dice readings over here? 11. What is sum of all dice readings over here? 11. Sum is unique. Answer is there. 3. Depth. You are here for a reason. <laughs> Question was, ठीक है, दोनों की dice अलग-अलग आई हैं, but sum of reading is eleven. See the question, see the beauty, appreciate it. Then we would say four. Had been यहाँ पे sum eleven होता, यहाँ पे sum twelve होता, we would say answer is four, because sum is not unique. Answer is three. <laughs> अभी आ रहा है तुम लोगों को मजा समझ में आया मैंने इतना मैथ्स क्यों करवाया इतना रीजनिंग क्यों करवाई हम लोगों ने सी द क्रक्स एंड थिंक इफ वी हैव नॉट डन इट जिबिता नो इट्स आंसर इज 3 सपोज वी हैव नॉट डन द बेसिक्स वी हैव डन द बेसिक्स नाउ वी आर डूइंग इट सपोज द बेसिक्स वर नॉट देयर व्हाट वुड हैव बीन द इशू यू कैन वेरी वेल इमेजिन वेयर इज मंजोत हैज एनीवन सीन हिम Manjot, are you there? Online class. Manjot, kal kaksha mein aajana. He might be in the gym. Shall I raise this? So, this is the beauty guys. Never be relaxed. The time you say, I know data sufficiency because I have been able to solve two questions. You will make third wrong. Now you understand why it is a tough paper. Nine questions like these. You can imagine after doing five, six questions, the mark kharab ho gaye. Hey na? The mind is boggling now. What is this happening? Rules are there, this is there, things have to be created, questions have to be understood, things have to be separate. Someone has a wife, someone has a girlfriend. Well, come on, what's going on, isn't it? Huh? Rahul Baba? Yeah. Hmm. I don't want to give you easy questions. Yes, Manjot is there. Only thing I wanted was that Manjot should come after the Diwali and meet me. So he has just vanished in thin air. Online students, guys, I hope you are understanding. This is really, really important aspect. Hmm? Three. Are you doing your basics right? Who said four?
फोर बाबू पीयूष बाबू सो इन दिस इन क्लास यू अंडरस्टैंड फोर फाइव पीपल आर कंफर्टेबल रिमेनिंग आर स्टिल नॉट कंफर्टेबल दे आर नॉट एबल टू गेट अ ग्रिप ऑफ इट है ना इट्स इट्स कॉल्ड किड नॉट गेटिंग अ ग्रिप ऑफ इट एक्चुअली हाँ सो लेट सी 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 आरुषि लिसन गाइस कम ऑन दिस इज वेरी सिंपल सी द क्वेश्चन ही सेज टू प्लेट्स एंड अ स्पून टू प्लेट्स प्लस अ स्पून इज कॉस्टिंग यू रुपी फोर वाई आर यू नॉट राइटिंग अ लॉन्ग साइड आई डोंट सी यू आर लुकिंग एट क्वेश्चन हर्ष लुकिंग एट क्वेश्चन नेवर सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम हाउ वुड यू डू दैट It's like you really like a woman, but you don't want to talk to her. What's the point? Isn't it? She may be considering you as her brother only. Isn't it? <laughs> right. So see, two plates plus spoon is equal to four. Right. He says, how much does a spoon cost? So question kya? Question is, what is the cost of spoon? That's really important. That's right. Really, see, you need to understand what is the question. Right. Always remember, Rishi sir pointed out what is the question. Now let's see. First, six plates and six forks. Six plates plus six forks is equal to rupees bara, which means a plate plus a fork is equal to rupee two. But this won't give you value of spoon because you have two p plus s, you have p plus f. There is no relationship between f and s. So first is not giving you answer. Second, a fork costs half as much as spoon. Fork is equal to half as much as spoon. But that doesn't mean that. See, when you see second, you forget first. So your basic is two plates plus spoon is equal to four. So fork is equal to half a spoon. If you put it over here also, you won't be able to get the value of spoon. So you cannot get it. Gone. How many of you are able to do this? Why are you not doing this work? अरे तुम्हारे सामने आई एम अ टीचर आई एम डूइंग इट एवरी टाइम वेन एवर अ क्वेश्चन इज कमिंग यू डोंट वॉन्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड मी आई हैव टोल्ड यू डू हार्ड वर्क हा देन नाउ मिक्सिंग दैम वन प्लस टू इट सेज अ प्लेट प्लस अ फॉक इज इक्वल टू टू एंड अ फॉक इज इक्वल टू हाफ अ स्पून सो आई पुट फॉक इज इक्वल टू हाफ अ स्पून सो प्लेट प्लस हाफ अ स्पून इज इक्वल टू टू Plate plus half a spoon is equal to two, which gives you. If you take LCM, two P plus S is equal to four. Don't you think it? They both are same. You cannot get the answer. What is the cost of spoon? Because the equation formed over here and the equation formed over here are same. Answer is four. You say two variables, two equations, but those two equations are same equations. <laughs> so do not assume again that you have two equations and two variables. It is easily solvable. These are the two same things. Two p plus s is equal to four over here. Also, two p plus s is equal to four. How would you solve these two equations? Cannot be solved. हा सो इट्स लेट इट इज इट्स ओके ना फायदा है ना कान कैंसिल कर दो नॉट पॉसिबल यू आर लुकिंग फॉर स्पून यूर क्वेश्चन हैज नॉट बीन आंसर बिकॉज देर इज अ फॉक इन द क्वेश्चन सो दैट स्टेटमेंट डज नॉट आंसर द क्वेश्चन खत्म दैट्स इजियर थिंग टू डू आरुषि यू एड गॉन टू होम एट ड्यूरिंग दिवाली टू मेनी स्वीट्स हैव यू गॉन टू होम वट डिड यू डू बर्स्ट फायर क्रैकर्स वेरी शेमफुल पॉल्यूटिंग ब्यूटिफुल सीरीन एनवायरमेंट ऑफ हिमाचल है ना हैज इट स्टार्टेड स्नोइंग अपर हिल्स ग्रेट यू वट डिड यू डू इन दिवाली दुकान पर बैठा कहने बेच सर खूब पैसे कमाए नवनी डिड यू गो टू होम नो यू सेलिब्रेटेड इन डेली माई गॉड हाफ यूर लंग्स आर गॉन
ओके ओ ग्रेट ओ वंडरफुल व्हाट डू यू डू सब शुभम व्हाट डिड यू डू यू आर हियर सेलिब्रेटिंग विथ हम्म हां नो घूम हां पीयूष बाबू होम हां आई यू बिलोंग टू दिल्ली दैट्स ब्यूटीफुल सो डिड यू बर्स्ट फायर क्रैकर्स नो व्हाट अबाउट यू बाबू नथिंग यू डिड नॉट डू एनीथिंग हां स्टडी वेरी गुड आरनब वेरी नाइस यू डिड नॉट गो होम व्हाई सर माय हो माय माय फैमिली हैज थ्रोन मी आउट <laughs> it's a very long essay <laughs> just trying to break the jinx because it has been too much actually like syllogisms right it's just banging so why didn't you go home you were planning to go home your love life did not rock <laughs> hmm pius babu and you went home so did you do the cleaningless drive at home You did not become Ramu Kaka. <laughs> generally, generally, as children, we were Ramu Kakas of the house. <laughs> ah, my daughter also did that. She didn't stop. I just cannot tell you the amount she has spent on firecrackers. It's astonishing how you may kill me. But then you know she has her own savings and pocket money. She did not stop. My God, I think she burst firecrackers continuously for two and a half hours. Two and a half hours. Lagatar, can you imagine how many firecrackers? And I, I am not in for those loud, bursty ones. Just those the the crackers that goes up, and you know, so it's a beautiful kind of uh, you know feeling when the car cracker goes up. But too many. What did you do? Diwali me kono si movie bhai? Which one? Tiger Three. I wish that you know you could have you know um, you could have gone for Diwali, but how is it? Otherwise, how is the movie? No, no, no. Salman Bhai doesn't need any direction. Come on, <laughs> Salman Bhai is a rock star. The only rock star the whole industry has is Salman. I absolutely love him. He's like. you know when he enters a movie the style the statement the panache right so uh, you may not like him but i really love him you also like him chalo common factor ho gaya yaar what did you do bhai abhi kuch khaya ki nahi khaya tune <laughs> kya khaya bhai <laughs> isko mithai khilao yaar <laughs> are yaar come on divanshu come on man you start eating a lot of eggs every day Lot of broccoli, lot of butter. You would grow up to be a macho kind of a guy. I'm telling you. Yes, Abhinav, what did you do? Kis kis ke ghar ke samne bode? What did you do? Huh? Oh, so did you burst firecrackers? Ajay, you also. <laughs> oh my God. And what do you do? Nothing. Just chilled out. The best part is, you know, when I have celebrated few festivals, uh, Christmas holidays. I generally used to be in uh, McLeod Guns, so I was associated with a uh, kind of a NGO where we used to go and train. Uh, you know. Uh, a lot of people migrate from tibet to mcleod ganj so they have a lot of problems in communication language so i used to go a lot of time to mcleod ganj to train them so genuinely during uh, you know christmas weeks so that was something that what did you do nothing just you know go there you know talking to them because you know it was not uh, training them actually exactly there is no rule book of training so the only rule book was that they should know how to talk and they really are very shy they very shy people so they were encouraged to talk <laughs> so teaching them was really a bliss and it used to happen seven eight days a uh, in the month of december so if you sometimes find time and uh, you want to do something really good 
So you can actually go to McLeod Gunch. There's a lot of people that are required. A lot of foreigners actually come down to India to a lot of places just to do these kind of work. Huh? I have a lot of foreigner friends when I was in McLeod Gunch. I used to stay in a village and uh, yeah, they, they genuinely, you know, great souls, they don't worry, they just come down. <laughs> no, they no nothing like that. They do come to do a lot of traveling. India is a very very safe travel heaven, right? And uh, Himachal and uh, Rajasthan are two destinations. Uh, Himachal, they would be there in Himachal during summers and during winters, you would find them in Rajasthan. They travel a lot, they chill out, they don't have any hazards, relax people, right? So their way of living life is totally different than our way. You know, I think most of us have been living such a stressful life during our, you know, growing up years where, you know, you have to make a career, you have to make a name, you have to have something in the family kind of a feeling. They don't have this kind of pressure. I have a very good friend from America and she is a bike mechanic and she earns better than me. No, it's not dollars, no. No, no, no. If I compare rupees and dollars also, in over in India, a bike mechanic, bike means cycle mechanic, basically. Bike over there is cycle. So a cycle mechanic is earning huh, better than me. Why? Because there is a respect for every kind of work over there. Plumber is earning more than, you know, probably I would be earning. Because a plumber charges near about 70 to 80 dollars an hour. Nay, Mala, I don't know much. This is what I've heard. So there is a quite a balance in the society when, you know, you don't have to prove yourself that I am a plumber. Over here, if somebody says that Shubham is a plumber, right? Mala, by God, parents of Chari Begari ho jayenge. Or I am a rickshaw puller, right? Though I need to pull rickshaw, I think so. So, <laughs> anyhow. So, okay, let's get back now, right, guys? It was an intentional break because this really kills. But let's go to the killing part again. So, guys. I was at home. Riksha Buller meets a plumber, huh? Had it been the case, I could have been a very good uh, carpenter. I love this work, carpenter. Keen interest in it. Two set two. Hmm? Two?
See, he says A, B is as much older than A as he is younger than C. As much older than A, B is as much older than A as he is younger than C. So, difference is X and X years. So, this is B minus X. This is B plus X. Age of B is B. So, B is as much older than A. He is X years older than A. And he is X years younger than C. Which means A is equal to B minus X. C is equal to B plus X. So, what is the question? He says, what is B's age? Question is, what is B's age? First is the sum of their ages is 72, which means B minus X plus B plus B plus X is equal to 72, which means 3B is equal to 72. Yes, you would get an answer. Answer pehli se a raha hai. First statement is giving you answer. Second is the age of B is equal to average age of A and C. See, when you see second, you forget first. He says B's age is equal to average of A and C, but question is what is B's age? Second statement B ki age thoda na deri hai, gyan deri hai. Kya age hai? B ki age kya? Second statement se bata. What is B's age? Yes, it is right. B's age is equal to B minus X plus B plus X upon two. Agreed, agreed. What is B's age? Value kya hai? B is equal to B. No value. Second is not giving you answer. Answer is one. <coughs> I need to have an answer, numerical answer. What is the value of B? B. B can be anything here. Unique answer thode na hai. So second is not giving you answer. I won't mix it. Harsh, I won't mix it. Why? Because one of the statement has given correct answer. I won't mix it. As soon as one tick comes, that this statement is giving me answer, I won't mix. Answer is not 3, answer is not 4. Come on, guys. Hmm? Answer is 1. First statement is giving answer, second is not giving answer, answer is 1. First is giving age of B, why? This 3B is equal to 72, which is B is equal to 24. Aa gaya? Lo? I am not solving it intentionally because you don't have to solve. You have to understand that if 3B is equal to 72, B ka exact value aayega hi aayega. <coughs> I don't care. I don't care. Question is what is B? I don't care. It's like India lost the match. Don't be happy that Pakistan also lost. Hardly an issue. You lost it also, right? That's more important. Huh? There are so many people that are hurt. It's just a game. Come on. Learn to accept it. They played better. When, you know, when 10 games were won, yes, India was playing better. Yesterday they could not. Simple, accept it and appreciate that they tried hard. Come on here, there can be a day when it's an off day. Why compare it, uh, other teams? You know, Pakistan was a fantastic team. They could not perform. They could not perform. It's okay. That doesn't mean they don't have good players. Start appreciating. You would also fail one day. Doesn't mean that everything is over. That is what a game teaches us. Sports would always teach us like this. Remember that. Okay? Don't be hurt. Yay! Tell me this. <clears throat> Arushi, focus. Work the way I am working. Right? Piyush, come on here. You are a good guy. Come on. Navneet, come on here. Do it the way I do it. Hey, Salman fan, what is your name? It's my yes. Is it good watching in the cinema? Yes, sir. Hmm? Uh, Salman, Canada action films were very good. Okay. Uh, 
ओके चलो डू दैट डिविजिबिलिटी रूल ऑफ थ्री वट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स इन वन फोर एक्स फोर ट्रिपल थ्री द नंबर वन फोर एक्स फोर ट्रिपल थ्री इज डिविजिबल बाई थ्री बताओ अलार्म लगा रखा है जागो थ्री नहीं है फोर है जीरो इज ऑल्सो मल्टीपल ऑफ थ्री किलर आई हैव मेड यू राइट इट इन द इनिशियल क्लासेस सी इट ऑल कम्स डाउन टू दिस काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चंस See a number. He's saying, "What is the value of x in one four x four double three?" He says the number is exactly divisible by three. What is the divisibility rule of three? Ignore multiples of three. So if you ignore multiples of three, one plus four plus four is nine plus nine and three and three. So only x is left. So what is the value of x if this number is divisible by three? X can be equal to Three six nine as well as zero. Zero can also be there. So first is not giving answer. Second is what is the value of x in one four x four double three x is less than five, which means x can be zero one two three and four. So not giving unique answer. When directly asked what x is less than five, so it is zero one two three four, isn't it? So if I mix them, then he says that. This number is divisible by three, and x is less than five. Then also x would be zero and three. So there are three two values. Then also, right? Mixing them also, we are getting two values of x, which means answer is four. We are not getting a unique answer, and answer would be three. Had I written x is greater than zero, then answer would be three, right? See the beauty. One single statement changes everything. तो घर नहीं गया इतनी रखी क्यों बांध रखी है? हाँ? Oh. Done guys. Hmm. मजा आ रहा है? This is the best way of learning. एपी किए हम लोगों ने ना चलो ये करो कम डू इट फोर Arnav, it has forced you to mix. Statement one is giving you answer. You don't need second statement. <laughs> statement two. <laughs> see, see, this is it. This is it because your first intention is not to go by the rule that I've given you. Statement one, statement two. You're not going by that. Generally, this is called forcing you to mix the two statements. <coughs> this is the question. This question has forced you to mix the two statements, knowingly that you are good, knowingly that you can now solve it. Now you are forced. I have made a error, you know, in your judgment, right? He says, "What is the profit percentage of the sale of a toy, guys? What is the profit percentage on the sale of a toy? The mark price is twenty percent higher than the cost price. So if the cost price is hundred, your mark price is what? Twenty percent higher, which is one twenty." Right, and a discount of ten percent is offered. So, if I give you a discount of ten percent over here, definitely selling price would be one zero eight. So, how much is the profit? Eight percent profit. First statement is giving you what is the profit percentage. You don't require the second one. <laughs> you picked up the second one because you said sub diya hai, selling price diya hai. This is giving me answer. 
Then the second statement, he says the selling price is 1050, but the cost price is not given. Because when I see second, I forget first. See how good I am. Right? That is important. When you see second, you have to shut out first out of your system. Question is, what is the profit percentage on the sale of a toy? Second is the selling price is 1050. By cost, you don't know how Second is not giving you answer. And you do not mix it because one of the statement is already giving you answer. See, it's all permutation combination kind of a feeling, isn't it? What is Rahul? You are only looking at your mobile today. All good? I said here you have followed my rule in talking to someone, huh? <laughs> Shall I? I thought you would be happy going home. Nobody is happy over here. I don't think you like this topic actually. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> we have done it. I don't care. All you have to do is solve it, whether you like it or not. Thank God, online students. Huh? I hope all of you also enjoyed. Manjot, what did you do? During Diwali, I am really interested in Manjot's creation during Diwali. Four. Again, you would be. I don't know. I'll have to solve. Okay. I was like talking to Manjot. Manjot, where, when did you come back from Kotakpura? I was like thinking everyone is going home, somebody is going to bring me this, that, like dead people here. This is the all the respect you have for me, huh? And Shubhamta has not even wished me happy Diwali. So dead. Oh. I atom bomb. Sir, I atom bomb. Here, guys, be happy. So, what do you do? I'm surprised. First time I'm seeing this class, when I started, I was like in shambles because you were so poor. And suddenly, you all have started working so hard. And now, again, you look, all of you are not doing it in a proper way. I mean, I keep asking you, keep it in a proper way. Statement 1, in the box of, see, read it well, in a box of 20. And there is a habit in a lot of students that you read so fast that you ignore. Don't do it in CSAT, right? So, it's very clear, in a box of 20 pens having an average cost of 22, what is the average cost of green pens? So, average cost of green pens pucha gaya hai. He says there are 9 red pens having the average cost equal to the average of the box, right? So, see, there are 20 pens in total. 20 pens, hai, right? So, there are 9 red pens. Total, these hai. red, kitne hai, 9. And in the average cost of the box, hai, but question is, cost of the green pens, first statement cannot give us the cost of the green pens. So, first statement is not sufficient enough. Second, he says, there are 8 blue pens. Now, when you say total is 20, how many are blue? Blue are 8. There are 8 blue pens. Then, how do we know remaining pens? 20 minus 8 is 12 pens. All of them are green pens. I mean, he pata. And statement 1, I forget. So, I don't know the existence of red pens. Got it? So, second alone is not true. And then, when I mix them, he says, total is 20. Red is 9. Right? And blue is... 8, so 9 plus 8 is 17. So, there are 3 remaining pens. We don't know they are green pens. He hasn't mentioned there are 3 green pens. So, we cannot assume that remaining 3 pens are green pens. So, even mixing them together, 
वी डोंट नो दैट हाउ मेनी ग्रीन पेन आर देयर सो आंसर इज फोर वी डोंट हैव टू ज्यूम एट ऑल नहीं रूल नंबर थ्री रिटर्न डू नॉट अज्यूम एनी थिंग इन डाटा सफिशियंसी इन जनरल लाइफ ऑल्सो इट किल्स इट हर्ट्स एंड डजेंट डू एनी थिंग इन योर लाइफ All of you assumed India is going to win yesterday. That's the reason you are all hurt. I am not. I did not even waste a single minute on TV. Actually, I don't watch TV at all. I don't have any interest in Netflix and Prime and G. I have everything in my, on my phone because I pay that rent because my family members have it. My dad has it. My mom has it. My wife has it. My daughter has it. I don't have any interest. Even if I'm free, I open Netflix. I don't even know what to do. इट्स लाइक फुलिश टू वेस्ट सो मच ऑफ टाइम भाई दो बजे से रात के नौ बजे तक तुम टाइम वेस्ट किया मैच देखने के लिए यू वॉन्ट टू बिकम एन आई एस ऑफिसर अरे सुबह पंद्रह मिनट की हाईलाइट देख लेना यार डोंट वेस्ट योर टाइम लॉजिकली सोचो सही बोल रहा हूं मैं एंड तुम्हारी जिंदगी में ऐसे दिन आते रहेंगे अगर ये दिन आ रहे हैं तो some day your parents would come some day there would be friends birthday some day somebody will say, let's go chill out right so these days are going to come if you want to do something and you have a day na the winters are coming go to delhi's historical places they are awesome if you haven't visited and please have service of a uh, you know guide or you know they they give you a device go and listen to what exactly is the place you go and switch on the device and you hear what exactly the speciality of the place do visit i have done that delhi is beautiful and if you find two days go to agra agra is better and if you go to taj do not waste yourself without a guide taj has so beautiful optical uh, illusions only a guide can tell you Taj has beautiful optical illusions, but if you do go without a guide, you just click your pictures and come back. It's called you know bucket list done, right? And you need to stay in Agra for two three days. Agra is a food destination, heavens. If you really like food, right? Buck. Done, huh? I've sent you an assignment. अब ये खत्म नहीं हुआ. Telegram खोलो. Open Telegram. Nothing. Manjot said I did not do nothing. Just chill. ये चली तो सुनना है हमने क्या कर रही था? How are you chilling, Manjot? Are he is my friend. He would tell me everything. Okay, open up your assignment. Few questions that you guys need to do right now. Question number eighteen. Eighteen. The assignment. Twenty-four. 26 18 24 26 28 29 right again i'm repeating 18 24 26 28 and 29 five questions i'm giving you five minutes start it right away Hmm. Answer all questions. I'm going to discuss it.
x and y are prime numbers what is the value of x into y where x and x y where x and y are 10 uh, okay it is not multiplication it's a two digit number x y he is talking about he says what is the value of x y where x and y are 10th and unit digit of the two digit number x y right he is not asking about uh, multiplication of x into y he is asking about two digit number x y okay he says x plus y is 10 Dono prime hai, to 7, 3, 73, 3, 7, 37, or 5, 5, because 5 is also prime and he has not written an x and y cannot be equal. So I think first is not giving you answer. Hai na? 1, 0, 5, 0 is divisible by x, y. In that case, guys, this is to, you know, 1, 0, 5, 0, x, y is a two digit number over here. So there would be, <coughs> sorry, there would be more than one answer for a two digit multiple of 1050, right? So second is not true. So then if you combine them, so now you just need to check it 1050, is it divisible by 75? Check karna. Is it divisible by 37 se to nahi hoga? 55 se? Nahi hai. Huh? 35 se hoga, but 3 plus 5 is not equal to 10. So you have to make that also equal to if you are using both na, Arushi. So it is 3 plus 7, th either it is 37 or it is. either 73, 37 or 55. So 1050 does not go by any of these, right? So answer is not possible. I think answer is 4. Okay, answer is 4. There is no such number xy, which is x plus y digits are equal to 10, where x and y are prime numbers, right? And, uh, you know, 1050 is divisible by xy. No, not possible. Next question is, Haan, I understand 3 and 7 hai, but 7 and 3 bhi to hai na. answer is not unique na yaar. Hey, 5 and 5 bhi to hai. there are 3 answers na. 37, 73, 55 so answer is not unique first se otherwise we mix hi nahi karta 55 bhi to hai na. next is 24 the breadth huh? Uh, ek bhi ho jata toh, we could have been one of this, them could have been the unique answer a jata. Then also what is x, what is y, because he is saying x, y is a two digit number where x is the 10th place, y is the unit place. So 3773 phir bhi ho ta. <coughs> the breadth of the rectangle is 11, what is the length? The a ratio of the area after the length is increased by 20% to the, uh, guys, what do you say of this? Both statements are giving you answer. Let's see. 24. <coughs> 24, he says, the breadth of the rectangle is 11. Breadth of the rectangle is 11. What is the length? The ratio of the area. So let the length be L. The ratio, he says the ratio of the area after the length is increased by 20%. Uh, breadth remains same to the original area. So the original area, area, original area would be, guys, original area is what? 11 times L. And uh, new area, if the length is increased by 20 percent, huh? he says, shh. question was, hmm. the ratio of the area after the length is increased by 20 percent. So, 11 into 1.2 times L, this is, this is it. And he says, 
क्वेश्चन इज वट इज अंथ द रेशो इज सो इन दोनों का रेशो अगर देखोगे इलेवन इन टू वन पॉइंट टू टाइम्स एल अपॉन इलेवन एल इज टू इज टू वन दिस इज वट इज से है ना ओ वन पॉइंट टू इज टू वन सॉरी वन पॉइंट टू इज टू वन सो ये एल एल तो कैंसिल हो गया गाइज इलेवन इलेवन भी कैंसिल हो गया वन पॉइंट टू अपॉन वन इज इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट टू अपॉन वन एल तो गया फर्स्ट इज नॉट गिविंग यू आंसर लेंथ इंक्रीज हुआ सो so एरिया मैंने इंक्रीज करके लिख दिया रेशो देखा तो लेंथ और लेंथ ऊपर नीचे से कैंसिल हो गया गाइस सेकेंड या सेकेंड इज गिविंग यू आंसर ही सेज ही सेज द एरिया विल बिकम ट्वेंटी सेंटीमीटर मोर इफ द ब्रेथ इज इंक्रीज बाय फिफ्टीन परसेंट सो एरिया पहले कितना था इलेवन टाइम्स एल नाउ ही सेज द एरिया Will become ट्वेंटी सेंटीमीटर मोर इफ द ब्रेथ इज इंक्रीज सो अभी एरिया ब्रेथ इज इंक्रीज है तो बाय कितना फिफ्टीन परसेंट वन पॉइंट वन फाइव इन टू एल इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टीन ट्वेंटी सो द डिफरेंस ऑफ द एरिया इज ट्वेंटी सो दिस वुड गिव यू एल आई डोंट नो वट इज एल बट दिस विल गिव यू एल सेकेंड से आ रहा आंसर राइट नेक्स्ट इज गैस गो होम एंड डोट राइट try doing the second page at home we'll discuss it tomorrow if you are smart i can if you want to mark these questions you can mark it mushkil hai likho or the questions you don't have to do 30 you don't have to do 30 ko 30th question you don't have to do question number 8 don't have to do question number 10 you don't have to do क्वेश्चन नंबर इलेवन यू डोंट हैव टू डू एट टेन इलेवन डोंट टच क्वेश्चन नंबर कौन सा बोला था उससे पहले मैंने हाँ क्वेश्चन थर्टी यू डोंट नीड टू डू क्वेश्चन थर्टी बिकॉज आई थिंक इट इज टू मच है ना बाकी रेस्ट वी हैव डन ना मैनी क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो इसी में से कर लिए हमने इफ यू कम विद दिस असाइनमेंट टू मोरो आई वुड हार्डली टेक हाफ एन आवर टू सॉर्ट आउट दिस and i have one and a half or more work with, with pyqs i don't want to touch it today i want you to practice and come back and find that confidence that you can do those pyqs right so please if you are intelligent do these assignments right otherwise i am going to do it tomorrow after that <coughs> on uh, wednesday i'll be doing linear equation which is relevant in every year one or two questions are coming then i'm left with probability and geometry and decision making next week i'm going to do it so i think by the end of this month you are done and dusted right <coughs> we are done and dusted with syllabus right and then i'm starting a test series uh, i have promised you five full length tests you can take that but i am making a test series by myself i want to eradicate this problem as a whole <coughs> for past 15 20 days i am making questions and i am going to serve you the same question same level questions that come in upsc if you get the same kind of a paper 20 questions 20 sets of uh, you know questions 80 age i don't think anybody can stop you right thank you so much guys jai hind to all of you